Mental? I think it's terrific. I think it's wonderful. She has a two-year-old, an eight-month-old, and a three-year-old. And if she can look like that, all the power to her. That's great. Basically, what she's saying is it's mind over matter. And, you know, as long as you exert a certain amount of control, you can do anything. And that's not always the case. You know, not since my own selfie as a picture of a naked belly stirred such controversy. What's your excuse is the title on the... Uh, on the handout there, the picture showing this mean, lean fitness instructor, mother of three young children. And she joins us, Maria Kang does, from, uh, from her, uh, her home in Sacramento. How are you doing? Why did you take the picture? Didn't you know that a lot of ladies were going to say, hey, she's uh, lording over us, Maria? No, of course not. Who wants any of that feedback? I took the picture because I thought it was going to be motivational for my Facebook followers. You see that caption all the time in several different types of inspirational posters. So I said, you know, here I am. I'm a fit mother. I have three kids, three and under, and I think that people are going to be inspired by this. But are you in a way saying, uh, look at me, compare me to you if you've had all these young children and you're complaining about body fat or this or that not getting mm -hmm. your body back uh, then you're uh, uh, you're just not working hard enough absolutely not I think that's crazy when people say that I'm saying you know what you're a mother or maybe you're not here are three symbols of time um, my three-year-old, my two-year-old, and my eight-month-old, and obviously I can make fitness a priority. I can make my health a priority. I'm saying, you know what? As a mother, you're the role model of your home. Make it a priority. Here in the studio with me, uh, Marcy Warhaf is the author of a book, The Body Image Survival Guide for Parents Helping Toddlers, Tweens, and Teens mm -hmm. Thrive. Uh, Marcy is one of uh, Maria's many, many critics, I, I hate to say. Why? The first thing mm -hmm. is, and Maria, you, you said it right when you started, you said we see these images everywhere and that's the problem we see one type of fitness one type of beauty glorified mm -hmm. all the time we assume that the skinniest woman in the room is always the fittest and the most muscular guy is always the strongest mm -hmm. and that's not always the case really mm -hmm. the truth is the healthiest bodies are the ones that work well we have to focus more on how our bodies work than how they look you can be somewhere in the middle where you can live with balance and moderation mm -hmm. and sometimes eat more and sometimes eat less and and go to the gym when you can or not go to the gym at all but be active and feel good about that and then you were feeling good mm -hmm. about that and then we're told What's your excuse? Personally, mm -hmm. I would have preferred had you said maybe this is my challenge. What challenges you? It just it seemed when mm -hmm. you when you're asking someone what's your excuse, you're asking them to validate or or justify their choices. But what's one more thing that's really really important, and this is another thing why why I wrote what I wrote. I'm a body image advocate. I go into mm -hmm. schools with a program called Fit versus Fiction, and I talk to kids, and I talk to to parents, and I talk to teachers. There are five-year-olds who are begging their kids, begging their parents not to send them to school because they think they're too fat to fit in. There are seventh mm -hmm. graders who are throwing up their lunch in, in the bathroom at school because they feel like they don't live up to our, our fat-phobic mm -hmm. society's unrealistic expectation of beauty, thinking that mm -hmm. they won't be pretty enough unless they're thin enough, and they're never going to be thin enough. And it's because we mm -hmm. don't see enough variety. We need to show that fit bodies really do come in all shapes and sizes, and maybe mm -hmm. we have to stop seeing one, one image. All right, Maria, you respond. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's a challenge to be in shape when you're a mom. There's a lot of priorities that I have in my day because I do work, and I have to take care of my kids and my family. But I understand exactly where you're coming from. There is a body image issue in America. There's a weight issue in America. There's a health crisis in America. But what I'm saying is that it starts at home. It starts with the parents. It starts with the mother, especially, to be a positive role model, to take care of herself, to put at least 30 minutes, 20 minutes, something in her day so that she can be a good role model for her children and, therefore, or their children can be happy okay, and healthy. Okay, let's just, let's just say one thing, though. I, I was you at one point. I was mm -hmm. super fit. I was very muscular. I was fit mom. Um, and I would never go back to that because what I thought, I thought I was being a great role model when I was getting up extra early to go to the gym and when I was eating mm -hmm. really, really clean. I thought that that was what I needed to show my kids. Really, I was just showing them how to obsess over food and calories and how to overexercise. Mm -hmm. I think that was your personal experience. I don't, you know, the, the moms that I know, especially myself, I think we're healthy role models. And I think we need more of people like myself who are saying, you know what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, 
raise a child and say that I'm unhealthy mm -hmm. because I'm being good, I'm being a good parent. I'm healthy okay, because just, sorry, I love my children. Healthy, he but healthy, healthy is how our bodies work. And let me just say one thing. We have to stop shaming people into being skinny and encourage them to be healthy. Okay, on, on that I think, note, I think that I think we've normalized overweight people in our society. I think that it's it's we've time that we celebrate people who are healthy. overweight people in our society. That's a good point. Yes. Maria, thank you. Continued success. Thank you. Marcy, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, here's Marcy's uh, book, the, uh, the Body Image Survival Guide. And you know Maria Kang, you can find on the internet. And uh, you know, I started this segment joking about my own that selfie. Uh, but my point publishing that was just that you don't have to get crazy, but a little fitness makes for a longer, better life, even if you don't end up looking as lovely and as fit as Maria. That's it for us. See you on radio and social media. Have a great week.